We'll begin the curl ups now. Ready? Begin. This is why I don't like filming my workouts. Mm hmm. At least she's up, wearing somewhat modest down, tights and one, top. Up, somewhat modest. Down, two, up, down. Three, oh, it's a lady. Up, down, four. Oh, I think it's a lady. We'll begin the curl up. Yeah, I don't think it was allowed, lady. Especially when you're pointing the camera straight directly into like the entrance of the gym. So you're catching everybody that's incoming and leaving. Welcome back to Chow Time Pod. It's your host, Red. I got a video today from Tiki Talkie. Ah, uh, gyms banning cameras and video recording. People are not happy, women and men. Please like and subscribe down below. I really appreciate it. And let's get that chow. It's chow time. But everybody that had so much to say about me filming in the gym yesterday, like, oh, I hope they ban cameras. It's none of content creators' fault that you're so insecure that you just don't want to be caught in the background of somebody's video. That's something you need to deal with. The main character syndrome with this one is uh, off the charts. I mean, that's personal. A confident person gonna be like, shit, let me just move out the way. If you got anything negative to say, you take your insecure ass to the house and do some home workouts until you're confident enough to work out in front of people and not give a damn what they got going on. <laughs> it's my fault I'm unconfident, guys. It's my fault that I have body issues and things like that so i should kick my ass and keep it home but when women have body issues and they walk around in the streets i'm not allowed to to say anything look at it or anything yeah. <laughs> as i've said before i have nothing against filming in gyms as long as you do so responsibly your wanting to film never takes priority over somebody else's right to feel comfortable at the gym and you never have the right to call somebody names or tell them they should go work out at home because they don't want to be in your video really and if you don't want to take my word for it let's see what planet fitness has to say the exact same so to this young woman i love that you say you try to be mindful of others when you do film i get out of here joey you know she's sprouting that bs love that you're trying to share your journey to inspire others but it's videos like this it's attitudes like yours that are the exact reason that so many people are scared to even step foot in the gym and so many people want to ban filming in gyms altogether and you are right people are insecure that's why they're at the gym just because you're comfortable filming yourself posting on social media doesn't mean other people are too you need to do better mind your own no business, business is why they want me banned from the gym. Maybe we might as well be at the club tonight. I've seen some women that do this in the gym. I don't know about this one. <laughs> Let me sit my ass down. Don't think gyms need to ban cameras because we need to, we do need to show more people in the gym. Like the gym needs to be advertised and needs to be on social media. But I, I actually somewhat agree with that. We have an obesity problem in the United States. I do think gyms should be more in the media. Is like everybody needs to be working out. Everybody needs to be, you know, trying to get fit. Everybody needs to trying to get healthier. And I do agree that the gym being in the forefront of a lot of videos, a lot of content creation does help out with that. I somewhat agree. I'm not sure how to police people doing stupid stuff, hogging machines. I agree. Cameras cause issues for sure. But I don't think gyms need to ban them. I think you, you might just need to go to like a private gym, a more low key gym, boutique gym. It's options for that. But um, we, we do need cameras in the gym, man. We, we, in a, we in a big bad crisis in our country. So, yeah, I'm not I'm not I don't think cameras need to go. It's hard to say. I mean, cameras are getting banned. Filming is getting banned. Do I think it's right? No, but just because it's it's just like the warning label thing I said last time. Right. Just because a small group of people don't know how to fucking do their job in a sense or be proper, it ruins it for everybody else. This is why we have warning labels on literally everything. You know, don't be careful. Choking hazard. Be careful. This be careful. It causes fire and all these things. Why? Because there's that small group of people that it affects. But why is there warning labels on everything? Because that small group of people. But everybody else thinks... It's kind of non nonsensical to put those labels on there, but that's what we're talking about, you know? The few almost always ruins it for the many. Manager says it violates other members' privacy 
at the gym. It is what it is. See, men and women are getting upset over it. And tell you the truth, I can get why men are more upset at it. Just because most men, yes, they're doing it very cordially. They're doing it very properly. They're not trying to record too many people on there. But this is what happens when people ruin things, good things for everybody else. Now, I've been seeing a whole bunch of videos going around like for 2024, pack it up with the relationship topics, pack it up with the freaking, you know, 50-50 um, topics. Do you know what I'm so sick of seeing? Women at the gym when nobody's looking at them. Take your butt to the gym at 2, 3 in the morning when nobody's there and record yourself. There's no way in this world that I should keep having to see these videos. You know what bothers me? When I watch the videos, I'm always sitting there like, watch, watch him be trying to be weird or creepy. And then you'll see the guy pass by. Because yeah, women are women first, right? When you, they want to see the, the, the bad thing that these women are pointing out. But when they don't see it, they, some women would call the BS out. Just very few. And he didn't even look in her fucking direction. And the woman is always built like the fucking aliens from Men in Black. No one's ever looking at you. But hey, please, in 2024, pack it up. I do not want to see any gym content. The only type of gym content I want to see, ladies, is if you're PRing. Oh, shit, you scared the fuck out of me. Nope. There's still plenty of gym content for me to cover. It's still like my number one content is gym content. Excuse me, sir, you guys just can't have like a video camera out. Okay. Have fun to pull, but we can't have actual cameras. We've all seen it. Everybody filming everything in the gym with their phone. Now, what difference does it make if I use a camera? Now, I feel like this rule is bogus. Not just because I want to film my content on my camera, but because there's really no way to define the rule of what's a camera, what's a phone. And I'm not talking having a camera on a tripod with lights or anything like that. I'm talking just having a video camera and having somebody use it to film you during your workout. Ah, uh, damn. Now I get it. I get it because Cameras are easy to notice. Like you see a camera, you know it's a camera. The phone is much harder to ban in a sense because you don't really know if they're looking at their phone, they're doing whatever on their phones. But a camera, it's a camera. So it's I think it's easier to ban cameras and it's proper to ban cameras because if the gym doesn't want filming at all, it's fine. But you still being able to use your phone is a little weird to me. Get it? It's a business. You want to walk in there and use their services, then you got to comply by the rules. However, I feel like this rule is so bogus because you can't follow it and nobody really knows what's what. She didn't let me film with my camera, so I went back to the phone. I right, just pause it. Get on the phone. Get on the phone. So guys, what do you think? Am I tripping? Are they tripping? Is the whole world tripping? Do we all got it messed up? Let me know. No, I think the whole world is slightly tripping over it just because it's been such a big issue. Like the filming of innocent people and, you know, in the background is such a problem with a lot of these gym influencers now that it's right that certain gyms are banning it, especially if it's a very public, you know, type like what 24 hour fitness, LA fitness types gyms. It makes sense. But if it's a more private gym where there's less gym goers and things like that yeah it makes sense that they would allow filming in there i just think that they should have influencer type gyms where filming is allowed everything is a little bit more spread out just for these gym goers but it's more expensive just because it allows them to film i think that seems pretty fair overall because they're making content off this stuff anyways they're making money off of it we charge them a little bit extra to go to a you know a film or a camera friendly gym and this is what women are finding out. I'm nope. So sad. Stop recording in the gym. Stop it. Yeah, a lot of people feel this way and it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. I'd actually compare recording in the gym to drinking alcohol. Hear me out on this one. I've never drank in my life. I don't judge anyone who does, but it's just never interested me. There are plenty of... Yeah, I've never drank in his life. I, I, I don't like drinking, but I at least drank something in my life. That's crazy. Places where drinking Shout is allowed and other places where it's not. But just because something is allowed does not give you the right to do it irresponsibly or without regard for other people. Conversely, just because somebody misuses their right to drink alcohol or record in public doesn't necessarily mean that we should completely outlaw it for everyone. Hashtag prohibition. 
for me, it all comes down to entitlement. Mm. If you want to document your fitness journey, then fine. But acknowledge that you are doing so in a public place that is not designated for that purpose. So you have no right to be frustrated by people who inconvenience your recording experience because by nature, you are the inconvenience, Ooh. not them. That's like folding laundry in the kitchen and then being mad when the person making dinner is in your way. Mic drop. Really? Really? And she slows it down too. <laughs> this is actually what women are re resorting to now. They're not filming content at the gym or working out anymore. They just straight up go to the locker room to film the content. Because all they really want is this right here. You know, just her showing off her body, showing off her goods. That's all they really wanted in the first place. So now they're starting to just do this after their workouts in the locker room, which is illegal in the first place anyways. Telling you guys, it's a new trend. It's not just that one that I just showed you. It's this one too. Like, they don't want to film at the gym anymore because I'm pretty sure most gyms are, you know, banning it and you can't do it. So they're just going to go in the locker room to do this so they can still show off their body and do whatever and they complain about it. I'm probably gonna get hate for this, but whatever. I just posted on my Instagram story. I don't think it's okay to film in gyms. Mm. Not unless every person that goes to that gym has consented to be on camera, even in the background. I agree. And this is where the influencer gym comes in. You just put it in the fine print that there's gonna be filming in this. And if you're okay, you're okay. And if you're not, you're not. Like, or, then you don't sign it. That's it. So that in a sense everybody would have consented for that particular gym for people to be recording or the gym is empty when i usually go to the gym it's like 5 30 in the morning and i don't think anybody at that point in time cares to film so i don't experience that often but whenever i go on the weekends i always catch myself in the background of somebody's video i do not want to be in the background of somebody's video most people do not want to be in the background of somebody's video especially at the gym See, it's not just men calling it out. It's a lot of women, too. I mean, when we're talking about people with, you know, self-confidence issue, a lot of women have self-confidence issue. So why would they be in the want to be in the back of your in the background of your shot, especially when you are some hot stuff type influencer? You're just making other people look bad in that particular shot if they are you know, self-conscious about it, at least. Where I'm like sweaty and like doing my thing. Like I don't want, I don't want to be filmed. I've had you guys ask me to like film my workout routine and I won't do it because I don't want to film in the gym without everybody's consent to say that it's okay. I feel like this new generation thinks it's okay to just film wherever because they're okay with it. And like, I, that's just not something that I can get behind. But I especially don't think it's okay to film at the gym where people are already very vulnerable. And like some people don't even want to be there, but they're doing it to just do it. The last thing they want is to see themselves on the background of somebody's fucking gym bro like video. I just don't, I don't get it. I just feel like you can find your creativity elsewhere. And if you're so adamant about being like a fitness content creator, go to a personal gym, like literally pay for a private membership so that you don't have to like film people in the background. I just think it's so not okay. Okay. And I think we've really just normalized it and I we can't did. normalize it. So like, if you guys ever ask what my workout routine is, unless I can guarantee that the gym is empty, you probably will never see it because I don't think it's okay to film people without their consent. Bottom line. I'm probably gonna Agreed. And then you get jackasses like this. He should have gotten banned. Like just like those other women, stop filming in the locker room, you idiots. This is not what the locker room is for. It's not your own home. It's not your own restroom. Stop it. Don't be a her. Or a him. The only person that you shouldn't be in this video is the woman filming. Stop taking videos of other people at the gym without them knowing to post on social media to make fun of them for likes and attention. And let's look at what these two people did. First off, you're literally standing in the middle of a walkway between the machines and the benches. Where is that young lady supposed to walk? Simply take a second, say, excuse me, take a step back, or maybe find a better place to do your exercise, but it doesn't need to be this. Mm -hmm. And for that young man, yes, he's on the phone. If you have to take a call, you should step away from a machine, a bench, but you don't need to film him. You don't know what that call is. 
personally for me, if my mom ever calls, especially after having health problems, I take that call every single time, even 100 fucking percent. I don't judge people answering phones uh, uh, in the middle of things because you never know. Yeah, if it isn't, you, you reprimand them. But if it's something important, you let it go. It's, it's not a big deal. Even in the gym, just have a conversation with them. Be kind. Don't film them. You need to do better. Mind your own business. When you go to your new gym and they say you can't film yourself. Shout out to this man for uh, handling business. Put that shit away. I don't know who needs to hear this, but gyms are not filming studios. I went to a commercial gym for the first time in months. There I am with a monumental pump from my 17th set of bicep curls. And mid-lift, I noticed a tripod pointing in my direction. Someone live streaming their whole workout in the middle of the fucking Ooh, gym. Live stream. Then, in the corner of my other eye, I see a fucking cameraman stealthily snaking around filming someone else's workout. I have had many photo and video shoots in gyms. But we always waited to use areas of the gym when no one else was around. Wait for people to finish using equipment so they aren't accidentally in the background. Or even say, I'm just going to film a quick set, do you mind? I am someone who proactively puts himself on social media, but I still don't want to play a background cameo role in someone else's workout vlog. If I was a timid beginner, I would have left that gym because it was like a fucking tripod minefield. More cameras than a red car Pit paparazzi event don't and there's a lot of people on the comment section that say i never noticed this at my gym i never noticed these things you guys are liars you know that it's never been an issue how many gyms do you go to how like this is probably more of a parent thing in major cities which is i do agree i live in la and most of the gyms here have at least one person filming almost always I go to 24 hour. I have the 24 hour membership that I can go to any 24 hour. There hasn't been a 24 hour fitness that I have not seen a woman filming, period. Don't get it twisted. I have zero issues with filming in a gym. Technique videos, social media content, whatever. I literally do it myself. But please, can we be cognizant of respecting other people's privacy and not automatically assume that everyone in the gym is equally as happy to have their face plastered across social media? Stop recording yourself at the gym. It's embarrassing. No one cares. But she still does it. And she has followers. So she's trying to say that people care. People follow her to watch her content. And she deserves to be able to film and show her off her assets. Get the fuck out of here. Men and women need to stop doing this. Most gyms all across the world have a sign that says filming is prohibited. So if you got somebody... But I think this guy is like the black Joey Swoles. Naked. They're just trying to change their clothes. Would you want to be in somebody else's video? Hell no. I'm sure you would not. Keep that in mind. Not when I'm butt naked. When you're recording yourself in that locker room and somebody else is just trying to change their clothes, is it fair to them? It nope. is a gym sin. And please try to be better about it. Whew, that was some greasy chow. I need to go to get a gym session in after that. You know, just if you are going to film, be cognizant of others. And if the, that particular gym banned it, go look for a gym that didn't ban it. You know, there's plenty of gyms out there. There's a lot of private gyms. There's a lot of smaller gyms. And then there's the big commercial gyms. A lot of think a lot of people that go to the big commercial gyms are just normal people. So they don't want to be put in this horrible light and sometimes.